Now let us see the pH of different salts. Let us write one example of a salt that is sodium chloride. So sodium chloride is an example of a salt. We know that this is formed from sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. So we can easily find out the parent acid and base from which the salt is formed by seeing the formula. So when looking at this formula NaCl the metal part is sodium. So the metal part is sodium and that sodium hydroxide that metal hydroxide sodium hydroxide is the base or the parent base from which this salt is formed is sodium hydroxide and the acid so the acid is actually hydrochloric acid since chloride here chloride is a negative part and we know that that is coming from hydrochloric acid so the acid uh, from which this salt is formed is hydrochloric acid so by seeing the formula we can easily find out the base and the acid from which this salt is formed so in this case the sodium hydroxide this base is a strong base we know that this is a strong base and this acid that acid is also a strong acid so in the case of sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid we can see these two are strong in nature so we can say that this salt formed so the salt formed from the strong base and a strong acid is actually a neutral salt the neutral salt or we can say the nature of sodium chloride the nature of this salt is neutral so this is an example of a neutral salt and we can write the pH the pH of this salt is 7 we know that the neutral solution or neutral salt has pH 7 so we can say this neutral salt has pH 7 so this is an example of a neutral salt this neutral salt is actually formed from a strong base and a strong acid now let us see another example that is sodium carbonate Na2CO3 so this is another salt so from this formula we can easily find out the base and the acid from which the salt is formed here sodium that is the metal part and we can write sodium hydroxide again sodium hydroxide is the base and this is carbonate so the second part or the negative part is carbonate and we can write carbo carbonic acid that is H2CO3 that is called a carbonic acid we know that this acid is present in soda water and H2CO3 that is the acid used to produce sodium carbonate so sodium carbonate is formed from sodium hydroxide and carbonic acid here this base is a strong base we know that sodium hydroxide is a strong base and H2CO3 we know that it is a weak base weak acid so this is a weak acid so uh, carbonic acid that is a weak acid and sodium hydroxide that is a strong base so from this we can write the nature of this salt the nature of this sodium carbonate salt is actually basic in nature so this is actually a basic salt so how it is called a basic salt here we can see this is a strong base and a weak acid and the basic character dominating here basic character is dominating than acidic character since it is a strong base strong base and weak acid so basic character is dominating and the salt formed is basic in nature and the pH will be more than 7 we know that base has 
pH more than 7. So, this is an example of a basic salt. So, let us write another example. Ammonium chloride. So, ammonium chloride, another example of a salt. So, from the formula, we can write the base and acid. The first part, that is ammonium hydroxide. So, ammonium hydroxide is the base here. And it is a chloride salt or the negative part is the chloride. So, hydrochloric acid. That is the acid here. So, the base and the acid, ammonium hydroxide and HCl actually reacts together to form this salt. So, from the formula, we can write the parent base and acid. Here, ammonium hydroxide, that is a weak base. It is a weak base. And hydrochloric acid, we know that it is a strong acid. So, hydrochloric acid is a strong acid and ammonium hydroxide is a weak base. So, the nature of this salt, ammonium chloride, ammonium chloride is acidic in nature since the acidic character dominating. So, this is an example of acidic salt. So, strong acid is HCl. HCl is a strong acid and weak base is ammonium hydroxide. Here, acidic character is dominating since the acidic part that is the strongest part. So, the salt formed will be an acidic salt and the pH will be less than 7. We know that less than 7 will be the pH value for acidic solutions. So, in this case, this, this is an example of acidic salt and pH will be less than 7. So, in short, we can say that a strong acid, strong acid and a strong base. So, the salt produced from a strong acid and strong base will be a neutral salt. And strong acid and weak base, strong acid and weak base that produces an acidic salt. And weak acid and strong base produces a basic salt. So, strong acid and strong base or a neutral salt is formed from strong acid and strong base. And acidic salt is formed from a strong acid and a weak base. And a basic salt is formed from weak acid and a strong base. Neutral salt, the pH will be 7 and acidic salt, the pH will be less than 7 and basic salt, the pH will be more than 7. So, this is about the pH of salts.